Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching a mod review of a couple John Deere Rippers and Weeder by Rooster. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what, today we get to do a mod review of a couple John Deere Rippers and a John Deere Weeder by Rooster. Oh, you betcha, you betcha. So what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Right over here, we have the John Deere 2720 Disc Ripper 11 Shank. All right, not too shabby. Right on over here, we have the John Deere 2720 Disc Ripper 5 Shank. And then right here in the middle, we have the John Deere 825 Row Crop Cultivator. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, even though this is called a cultivator, it works like a weeder. So don't get confused you're not going to find it underneath the cultivator section. So what do we got looking at here? Right here we have a... The 11 shank is 49 megabytes to download. The 5 shank is 48 megabytes to download. And the cultivator here is 5 megabytes to download. So not too shabby. Altogether, you can get yourself quite a bit of stuff for what you got download size. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and break these things down from the store. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and look at the rippers to start off with. This one right here is the 11 shank ripper, and this one right here is the 5, just so you kind of understand that. Uh, as you can see, $80,550 for the 11 shank and 37,899 for the five. Uh, let's take a look at this guy to start off with. Uh, so wheel setup right here, you have the standard wheel setup or you have the mud guards. And as you can see, they got little plates over there to stop mud from getting all caked up on the inside. And that's it. You can add that on for an extra two grand, not too shabby. Um, but when you go ahead and take a look at the horsepower requirements for this guy right here, you need 465 horses working with 8.4 meters and you can go at 7 miles an hour. So not too shabby at all. A lot of horsepower to get that thing rocking and rolling, but you know what? You do get quite the working width out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 5 shank. Now the 5 shank does not fold up and this is what it does end up looking right here. Uh, much more manageable for most people. Horsepower wise at 200 horses, you get a working width of 3.8 meters. Uh, but with this, you do get to go nine miles an hour. So even though it's a little bit more narrow, you get to go faster. It's it's one of those games, what do you want to play? Obviously, you're not getting as much done as fast, but it, you know what? That could be worse. Uh, for the price, you know, it's not too shabby and it looks cool to begin with. I mean, that's that's ultimately the, the major factor. We'll take a little walk around these things in just a second. Uh, but let's come back here and take a look at the weeder. Or, as they call it, call it the 825 row, car, row crop cultivator. Uh, which is $5,250. Not too shabby at all, if you ask me. Um, now, this does have a couple features here. We're going to go ahead and get on this side. You can get like these little guard coulters in here. I'm um, sorry, they are right here. So you can go ahead and add those on for 250 bucks. Uh, now for warnings here, warning equipment, you can have the slow moving vehicle triangle. You can have little reflectors on the end, or you can go ahead and have both. And ultimately for all this extra stuff, it almost costs nothing. So that's pretty darn slick right there. Horsepower requirement for this guy is 50 horses. So that you can pretty much use with any tractor whatsoever. Uh, working with the 4.6 meters and has a speed of 6 miles an hour. Not too shabby altogether. Now in comparison to uh, other equipment, 4.6. Um, 
you take a look at this guy over here, six meters, that's the in-game one, the cheapest in-game one. Uh, Price-wise, it does end up working out right because it is a little bit underneath that price and it's a little bit more narrower. Uh, but let's face it, it's a deer, so you got that going for you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pop back out and take a look at this bad mamma jamma. All right, so here we'll start off with the 11 shank right now. So as you can see, they do have nice, nice features in here. Uh, pretty slick roll bars that are on the back here. You got the nice triangles up there, and the discs look absolutely super cool. It's a very, very clean, clean machine. Uh, you can see the hooks in here, not too shabby. Those are, those, I, I really like the detail on all of this stuff, not... No joking, guys. I really do like the detail from the bolts all the way down to the discs here. Uh, super, super cool. I do like that. Uh, one of the things we will look at is we're going to give these a little test in just a little bit so you get to see some of the animations. Uh, but then you come over to this guy here and same thing. Obviously, it's it's essentially the same thing, uh, just a smaller version of it. And again, you got the roll bars here. You got the discs. You got all the reflectors on there. John Deere on that. Not too shabby. It looks pretty darn slick. And then even down here on this little bugger, the 825, you got all the little tines on there. Oh, it, it's super, super cool looking. Super, super cool looking. Detail was done very nice. The stands are pretty slick as well. Oh, man, not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. So if you guys give me just one minute here, I'm going to go ahead and hook all these up to some John Deere tractors. Of course, got to have John Deere tractors to pull this stuff. Uh, and we'll go ahead and see what these things look like out in the field. Alright, so I have all of these implements set up along the edge of the field, and I tell you what, they all look super slick together there with the John Deere tractors, respectively. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is jump on here, give these things a little rip, and we'll see how they end up looking and how they end up functioning. Um, so let's hop on here to begin with, and let's drop these down. As you can see, we have nice animation of everything dropping down. The roll bar kind of plops itself down into place. Super, super cool. Uh, let's get this over here a little bit. Drop it. There you go. And you can kind of see how it, the animations are working. Dropping down. Oh, yeah. Nice and clean the way they look. I like the way how they take the dirt and kick the dirt back up. And the, the dust cloud animation on there is absolutely great. I love that. That is super, super cool. Ah, uh, man, I, I really do like that. That is pretty darn neat. I do like that a lot. Uh, so here's what we're going to go ahead. We're going to disconnect that right away. So you can see that's what I was talking about. I really like that animation of taking and putting down the jack and holding it up there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And the same thing goes for picking it right back up pretty darn slick pretty darn slick um let's hop down here hop into our other tractor and look at this little bad mamma jamma now this guy here will go ahead and unfold it to begin with so you can kind of see that animation it's a little bit slower animation but it's a bigger unit so i mean that makes a ton of sense and i kind of like the way if you guys notice that how let's put this back up so you can see it again how it kind of rocks around you know, that's the kind of animations and things that you're actually going to see in reality. Uh, things aren't nice and smooth. They don't always happen absolutely perfectly. After all, this is just a machine, so it makes a ton of sense to have it move and bob and weave and jump around when you're trying to make magic happen. So let's go ahead and lower this really quick so you can see that. And as you can see, it just lowers right down into the ground. Not too shabby. You get those front wheels that you have just kind of bow dangling around right there. They do a great job of sticking in place wherever they are. And then as you drive forward, they work absolutely perfect. Super, super cool. And same thing. I love the animations. The roll bars back there are working like a charm. You have the discs up here. You got the big barbs in the center there just chewing up the dirt. Oh, perfect. I love this. I love this. Great animations. Great animations. And it looks absolutely fabulous as you're doing it. So let's go ahead and pick this up really quick. Raise that thing up one more time. And then we'll go ahead and lower it. And you get the little bobbing and weaving of everything back here. Let's go ahead and hook that back up. 
the little jumping. I love that. Great animations on this thing. Super well done. Super well done. All right, now let's hop back over here and take a look at the weeder and see how this thing functions. So I planted corn in here last night and it grew up and now we got a bunch of weeds. So that's kind of the scenario we're sitting in right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. We'll get in here so we can take a look at this. We're going to go ahead and lower that into the ground. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Looks like those wheels sit nice and neat. We'll get a little bit farther ahead before we can see a little bit more of this. Uh, but let's drop that again. All right, got that in the dirt. And there we go. Weeding like a champion, or in this case, weeding like a deer. Nice little animations of it ripping in there. Pretty darn slick itself. Now let's go ahead and take a look at something here really quick. This little bad mamma jamma. They are actually classified as a hoe. So this thing over here will actually pull out the small to the medium sized weeds between the crops. So that's not too shabby at all. It definitely gives you that ability to do what you need to do to get this stuff up and out of the ground. Uh, and I do apologize. I was driving forward there for a second and I had to stop myself. So if you've seen a little glitch in there, that was my fault right there. Uh, but not too bad. I love it. I mean, I, I really do like this. Now, if you have a huge field, obviously a hole like this probably isn't going to be your best bet. You're going to want to go with something bigger. But I tell you what, if you got some smaller fields, this little bad mamma jamma is definitely for you. Or if all you have is a low horsepower vehicle, you got to do what you got to do. So let's go ahead and pick that thing up. And here, let's go ahead and take a look at the animation of disconnecting that nice 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 i love that little support that comes in there let's go ahead and lower that down first and then do that not too shabby not too shabby at all guys overall these are some quality quality mods done by rooster hats off rooster great great stuff uh absolutely love it now myself personally i'm a case man but there's just something about green and gold like that that makes you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside and i tell you what absolutely fabulous all around oh my gosh i tell you what guys go ahead download this for yourselves and you can test out and see what you think of this <laughs> comment down below let me know what you think about this um it is for pc only so go ahead and make sure you take a look at that guys if you're liking what you're hearing liking what you're seeing go ahead and smash that like button help the channel out and subscribe it would mean a whole lot to me Go ahead and turn that notification bell on and have it set to all. That way you know when this and other great videos are coming out. Oh my gosh, share this with a John Deere fan that likes to rip up the land. Oh, you betcha, you betcha. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, guys, I tell you what. Thanks for stopping by.